But please know that uh, my whole world has changed too. I spent 25 years at Intel, data center, enterprise, and cloud, and I had the opportunity to come join Flex because what we are talking about today, the edge, the expansion of solutions, new use cases, new drivers of technology, uh, is an open playing field for all of us. And when we work together and collaborate, we can accelerate better solutions from the data center to all the different definitions of the edge. And that's why I'm excited to be here. It's only week two, and I didn't think they'd actually let me out of the office or approve me to speak to you, but they did. They gave me 10 whole minutes. How much damage can I cause in 10 minutes? We'll see. But uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about is uh, it's really why I did join Flex and why I'm here today, because I believe in what we're trying to do to advance edge solutions and accelerate the industry. So we know that disruption is happening, and we're just at the tip of disruption. There is no way that we are at the height of this market. We are at the beginning and perpetual beginning of a hockey stick of growth. Every time we turn around, there is new disruption in this industry. Transportation, I have officially given up rental cars. I will only take Uber and Lyft. How about a world's largest car company that doesn't actually own a car? And you have social media, multiple different sources. Facebook is just one, delivering content at the news. I rely on these services to help keep me up to date, but they don't actually create the content, do they? They're just serving it up. E-tail, uh, you all know Amazon, one of my favorite uh, companies in the world. I buy a lot of stuff through them, but Alibaba as well. One of the largest e-tailers in the market, and they don't own any of their inventory. And last, hospitality, another breakthrough, disrupting the, uh, the hospitality industry. Airbnb, thousands of rooms, global, everywhere but they don't own a single piece of property. So this is the type of disruption and this is the type of growth we're gonna be seeing in the industry because these are all new use cases, some of them a decade old, but all of them growing and changing and there's no reason we're not gonna see another hundred of them in the future. So how do we know that this disruption is gonna continue? One is growth. Uh, we talked about uh, the use of robotics and uh, knowledge workers being replaced with use of robots. That's great, actually. Um, if a robot can do my job and I can get paid, I'm good with that. Or if a robot can do my job and I can go do something different and bigger, that's great, too. Um, but we're going to have a very different market as well. Another one that's different is what's changing our tech industry is the millennials. About half of knowledge workers are gonna be, by the end of next year, millennials. And that's bringing new ideas and new use cases and new opportunities for growth. And of course, I mentioned disruption. As we move from billions of connected devices to 50 billion connected devices in 2020, the market stats say somewhere between 30 to 50. I like the 50 number because I think it represents the opportunity in the market. Half of those devices are gonna be connecting data machine to machine, and that doesn't happen today. Where you and I generate about a gig and a half of data, these smart factories and cars and airplanes are going to be generating petabytes, terabytes, zettabytes of data. All of this is going to cause disruption in our industry, and it's our job to help turn that disruption into growth. And that's why I joined Flex, because I want to partner with you that are making the hardware and software solutions in this market, and I want to, to help you do it better and faster. And I've already met with a couple customers. They always say cheaper, too. So better, faster, and cheaper into the market. So where are we focused on handling some of these challenges? Well, we're spanning a lot of things. It's always come down to me for total cost of ownership. From the first time I ever walked into a cloud provider a decade ago, it was about how much performance or value can I deliver and how can I minimize the total cost of ownership. And that's why functions like Open 19 are so important, because when we can drive standards, when we can make things interoperable, when we can add flexibility across infrastructure, we drive down total cost of ownership and enable growth and scale, massive scale. 
The edge, we've been talking about that all morning. Uh, this is an area where it's a new frontier. Like I said, there's unlimited new use cases that can adapt. And as we provide better technologies, we can span uh, the entirety of that system and fix that last mile. For all those low latency use cases, we can continue to innovate and connect the billions of people in the world and the billions of devices. And of course, massive amounts of data. And what happens when you have data, complex data, structured and unstructured, large, large amounts of data, you have to move that data, you have to store that data, and you have to process that data. So one thing that we're working with Open19 is having that flexibility of infrastructure to provide that compute network and storage wherever you need it out in the world. And uh, we offer, there's in the uh, Open19 Intel-based solutions and AMD-based solutions. So did I mention to anybody that I spent 25 years at Intel? That is the very first time I've promoted an AMD solution. And I'm excited about it because we have the flexibility of infrastructure to do both, and that brings choice. And choice is good for end users, it's ch good for hardware, people building the boxes and consuming the boxes. Choice drives innovation. And of course, 5G. This is actually another area why I joined Flex. I have spent a lot of time in the public cloud, a decade servicing the top global cloud service providers. And we, I've been looking at at the edge for so long and watching that edge data center push and become all different forms of different solutions. We've partnered with Vapor.io. We've partnered with the communications and carriers. One, uh, two, from radio three. access all the way to cloud solutions, Flex is delivering these technologies. And we're here to be that partner and enabler to the ecosystem to get those infrastructure solutions out the door. So I mentioned I got 10 minutes. I'm at uh, the end of my 10 minutes.